you may want to implement an accordion in your app to group items vertically into a stack. In this video, I will show you how accordions can be implemented in our systems. So looking at my service studio, I'm inside a reactive web application. I have an entity called product. It has these attributes and I bootstrap some sample data inside these. Uh, now what I will do first is implement a screen. Let's give it a title home. Okay, accordion. So if you look for accordion in the uh, widget bar here, you will find accordion item here. We just drag and drop here. It creates the accordion and it has, actually one accordion can have multiple accordion items in it. So by default, when you drag and drop an accordion, it puts, I think three by default. If you want to see details of it, you can go to the widget tree and see how they are structured. So this is the main accordion. And then there are three items in there. If you want to add more uh, accordion items to it, just drag and drop accordion item and place it here. So now there are four. What to do with these according items? So they are have two things. First is the title. This is the one that shows up when you collapse, when the accordions are collapsed. This is the one that is still visible. Let's say section one. And you can place a content inside. So for that, I'll use my table. So anything that goes inside the content uh, stays there. OK, so for example, in this case, I'm adding a table here, uh, a grid of showing all my product variables, product uh, records. Likewise, in uh, section two, can place content. I'm just putting a text here. I get. I guess you get the idea. And sec three content three. These are very similar to tabs. Having a tabs in your application. So use the content uh, part of each of these accordion items to place the necessary content in there. I'm going to get rid of this fourth one which I added. Okay, this is good enough. Now second use case could be. Let me add one more screen. Let this be uh, accordions in a grid. So in this case, imagine I have a product table. That's what I had earlier on here. If I drag and drop this onto the screen, it displays the list of products. I can get rid of this one. But imagine if you want to uh, display all of these information into a grid where you can expand and collapse each of these items. So in that case, similar to what we did earlier on, look for the accordion drag and drop at the first item in there. Okay. You can get rid of the other items in there, but you can slowly move things. For example, the product name could become the section title and then uh, rest of the things can come into the details of it. Right. For example, the code can come here. The category can come here. You might as well use some other items as well. For example, a tag would display can be used for displaying the category. Just want to show you that uh, inside the accordion content, you can place any content. Just getting rid of these additional columns because now they don't have, hold any value. And thereafter, maybe I can put a image also in my table. I do have a product image like this, which is coming in the product variable as a URL. And there you go. Okay. So with this, I'm uh, what I'm I'm doing here is adding the accordion into a grid, into a list. And then the item will display the information of the product where the name of the product becomes title and rest of the information I'm showing up here in the uh, contents part. Okay. Now, in this case, I will not need other accordion items because one is enough. I'm repeating them. So I'll get rid of them and that's how it will show up. Let's see how it looks on the screen. So just to recap home screen where I just showed you how to uh, build a a user accordion widget and then grid where I uh, added a grid and inside that grid I added accordion. Let me just put a link here so I can browse to this page and I'm publishing it. So it's very easy to implement and uh, you should use it to on your view pages where you want to structure the information and and also on, on your forms. If you have information you don't want to use visual even accordions can be used. So I'm launching it now. Okay, so this is the home page, the, the first one that I created. You can see that the three accordion items are here, section one, two, and three. If I expand section one, I can see the list of products. I can collapse it. Section two, I can see. Section three, also I can see. Now these accordions have additional properties in there, which can, where you can set whether you should 
be able to expand multiple items or allow only one item to be open at one time. It's actually here. So if you select the main accordion style, which page is this? It's home. Okay, so if you select the main accordion item here, you are able to set this condition to true if you want other items to also be expandable. Okay, by default, it's set to false. So that's the first one. Uh, second one we implemented in a list. So you can see here, this was our list of products. Each of the product is displaying a accordion item as their title. And if I expand, I can see the details of the product. Okay, and there it goes. It keeps on showing for all the products that I have in there. Okay. And one last thing that you may want to do with accordions is to trigger some logic if something is clicked or uh, expanded. So for that, let me take up the extreme example of the grid one. So here, if I go back and look at the accordion items, you can see that each of the accordion item also have an event here, which allows you to, you know, uh, detect whether something is being expanded or collapsed, right? So here you can uh, create a new client action on toggle and provide the logic. For example, on this, I can create input parameter, which product. Okay, that's something that will be supplied every time that is there. And I can display this in a message. Of course, you can do many other things with it. Just displaying which product. Oops, it became product type. That's not what I wanted. I want it to be a text. Okay, just the product name should do. And then in my message, I can display the product. Now on the click on the item, it's being asked for because I made it an input parameter and I can pass the name like this. So every time I expand or collapse a, a, a particular row, it should show me the name of the product. That's what I did. But with this kind of thing, you are able to write your own complex logics to show up maybe a logging when somebody is uh, watching a product details for e-commerce. That would be a good use case. And I'm publishing it now. Since I made a change, I need to republish it and launch it again. So what I did on my grid page, now when I click on expand, I see the LI effects being shown there, Amazon Echo, and that's how they are coming from the client action that I just wrote. Thanks for watching.